What's up, guys? This is the Jeremy Muscle with Mason, Trap, Garrison, and today uh, we're bringing you a video on you know gym gear and what to wear or what helps you in the gym. And we are also apologizing for being out for a couple of days. I've been sick, and all of us have been extremely busy with Thanksgiving and the holidays, you know, with family, just plans, and stuff like that. So we apologize for that. But to start you off, we want to talk about wrist wraps. Wrist wraps to me are very important in anything except for legs because with my wrists, I have extremely, you know, weak wrists that I need a lot of support on, especially with bench and any overhead movements, bench, overhead press, shoulder press, any of that. And it also helps me with my deadlifts on my grip. It helps me keep my forearms tight. Allows me to hold on to the grip, hold on to the bar for longer, and makes me feel way better about with wearing it. And then a belt. Another thing is I like to keep my back extremely stiff and uh, straight. That's just me. Especially on squat, wearing this belt, it's really you know lengthy in the back, and it helps me push my chest out, it helps me push against, helps me push with my abs to keep uh, like my back and my chest out straight. Something I want to add in real quick about the belt is uh, I would not recommend getting a Velcro belt. I've been meaning to buy a actual, you know, slot belt kind of like where it's stable because whenever I squat heavy or deadlift heavy and I'm using this Velcro, the, this Velcro belt, Whenever I'm pushing against my with my abs, it just pops up and it throws me off. So don't don't get a Velcro belt, please. I've been meaning to get a new one, and that's just what I want. Yeah, good chill, uh, Dave. No, that really is. So yeah, if you're I mean, if you're pushing as hard as you can against the belt, and then it just releases, then yeah, you're gonna yeah. throws. Everything. Yeah, so get you an actual belt and lock you in. Yeah, a true prom belt, a beer belt. Yeah, so yeah, um, so I have a few things to talk about. But yeah, like I said, the belt is such an important thing to keep your back straight, and uh, just want to kind of reemphasize that. But uh, let's go into it. One of my favorite things to use uh, wrist wraps. Uh, a lot of people are against wrist wraps because you know they don't build up your forearms. Yeah, it's I don't know. I think wrist wraps are very useful. Uh, for example, I use them on my back day uh, always. I'll put them on at the very beginning of the back workout. I won't use them until I need them. So like, if I'm doing lat pull downs and I'm, you know, going heavy, well, typically my hands and my, my forearms will give out before I can get all the reps I can to overload my back. So I'll put wrist straps on and I'll use them for the heavy sets. And it still gets a good pump in your forearms. You know, it still works on because you're still using them. Uh, I don't think it ever has affected my grip strength. Because, I mean, when I do deadlifts and stuff, I can still pull whatever I can pull max and uh, not have any problems with uh, my grip giving out. Um, another thing to talk about, talking about legs, uh, a lot of people use uh, knee sleeves or knee wraps. Uh, these right here are knee wraps, just typical knee wraps you can buy at a, at a sports store, sporting store. And uh, they're pretty useful for when you are squatting. They help protect your knees. They help. Uh, you know, warm up your joints and stabilize your joints uh, in your knees. So, for example, uh, just recently, you know, my knees started hurting me a lot. So I actually went and bought these just so that I can stabilize my knees when I was squatting and reduce the pain that I was having. Knee wraps also help you uh, get a few extra pounds out of your lift. So if you are like powerlifting, uh, knee wraps, and they're not necessarily considered raw lifting, but because uh, they do probably add a few you know, a good 10, 20 pounds to your uh, squat max. Um, but they're very useful. Uh, so moving on, we'll talk about <clears throat> some more things. Legs, when I warm up my legs, I like to use this thing called a hip circle. Now, they have plenty of different brands of this. Uh, this is a Mark Bell slingshot brand. Uh, and basically what you do is just put this on around your knees, uh, just above your knees, to warm up your hips. Uh, you can do walk, you know, you walk with them. You can 
like walk side to side with it and it just warms up your hip joint or your hip uh, muscles and stuff like that and gets you ready to go for squats or for heavy dead, uh, deadlifts. So hip circles are really good. Now, my favorite thing to do is bench press. So if you go check out my Instagram, all I do is bench press. Uh, it's all good. I, I just like it, that's what I'm good at. So, uh, Here's two things that I like to use to help me with my bench press. These are called slingshots. Uh, some of you may not have heard of these before, um, but these are pretty simple to use. Slip them on over your arms, and when you go to bench, they actually assist with the bench press. Uh, it allows you to hold more weight in your hands, so you can get used to uh, to having the extra weight, so you don't shock your central nervous system when you go ahead and go straight for you know a max rep or something. You may have already hit it before for a couple reps with one of these, so it allows you to kind of feel that weight. It also holds you in position with the way it's set up. It'll teach you to tuck your, uh, to keep your elbows tucked in as you bench press. Uh, there's so many benefits coming out of this. It overloads your triceps. I mean, obviously it helps get out of the bottom, but it won't help lock out. So, uh, I mean, to an extent it will help lock out, but a lot of it is gonna be, you know, powering through, you know, if you have 300 pounds on a bar that you can max out with normally, you can hit it for a few reps and really work on locking out. So it'll definitely put some, uh, you know, pump in your, your triceps. It also saves your shoulders by keeping you locked in. Uh, there's multiple different kinds. This one is the original. Uh, it's, it assists, it'll help you a little bit. I mean, it's uh, it's a single ply, I guess, yeah? yeah. And then this one would be more like a multi-ply, so it'll help you a little bit more. Um, this one may add 50 pounds, whereas this one may add only 30 pounds to your max. Uh, so look into them, I mean, check them out. Uh, I definitely recommend them for any, you know, bench program, if you wanna have a little extra, you know, to add in a, a different workout. But it's pretty good uh, gym gear to have. And the last thing I talk about, <clears throat> uh, these compression cuffs, uh, these are pretty good, especially if you're dealing with, um, you know, like tendonitis in your, uh, in your elbows or something. These are good to help, you know, hold everything tight and keep and save your uh, your your elbow joints. Um, so if you're dealing with pain in your elbows, try these out. Pressure cuffs. Like I said, there's plenty of different brands for all of these things I have right here. Uh, I just like Mark Bell's stuff, uh, and that's I guess that's it. All right. So so these are actual knee sleeves. Uh, like he was covering, there's a bunch of different brands out there. Uh, me personally, I've always used Reband just because I think they're a really, really good quality product. But you got, uh, what is it, the TKs? The TKs? Yeah. yeah that's yeah. pretty good. That's sure. the ones I, that I use, TKs. Uh, I've always used them. They're pretty comfortable for me. Uh, Super Training, uh, uh, Slingshot, they have their own brand. Um, SPD. That's me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Powerlifting. Uh, so many different brands out there. Just, I mean, just look them up, and you can find something that will you. Yeah. Um. So basically, like we we're saying, you know, they're all different price points, all different variations, a little different cuts and styles. Um. Basically, my biggest thing with these is uh, having a knee injury. For me, I I didn't ever train with them. Once I did, I'm not gonna lie, I'll never turn again with them. Uh, when it comes to legs and squatting, it makes a huge difference in actual warmth of the knee and helps get the fluid and everything warm so that once you're comfortable squatting and warmed up, it feels 100% better. Your joints don't hurt, it helps when it's cold, it helps with mobility. Um, but the difference is, is wraps, you are going to get help. Sleeves, you're really not going to get any help out of the bottom. They're not going to help add 5, 10, 15 pounds to the book versus your wraps where they're actually giving you a um, next up, uh, fat grips. Um, a lot of people haven't actually heard of fat grips. Um, I hadn't until about two years ago. And uh, basically, it's a really easy, easy implement to use. You literally just pull it apart and pop it on a bar. Um, you can use them with dumbbells, you can use them with barbell. Uh, that's Trent was showing just in. You can use them for uh, curls, uh, bench press. Bench press is what they're great for. Um, basically, the whole concept behind it is it's increasing your hand and grip strength. 
So pop them on a deadlift, and you're talking about making 135 feel like 450 in your hands. It makes such a huge difference just due to not being able to rack your hand around the bar. Um, but they're great for forearm development. Um, I'll use them on uh, drag curls, straight barbell curls, that kind of stuff to make them harder. Um, so yeah, they're great for <laughs> forearm development, which in turn will help your arm grow. It's the concept. And then lastly, um, I've got my belt. Uh, just came in this week. Uh, the difference is between uh, this belt and Mason's belt right there. Uh, basically, Mason's got a standard squat belt. Um, comes in you know many different form sizes. Um, you can tell the back pad right there. It gets wide and then tapers to the front. So that's what most of your squat belts and standard issue belts are like. Um, great for everyday use. I still use a regular squat belt all the time. Um, biggest thing though is when you're going heavy on a powerlifting movement, so say an overhead press, uh, a deadlift, a squat, that kind of thing. If if you're you know pushing your chest out like you're supposed to, you can get some overspill, and, and it, you know if you're not careful, you can get a hernia that way. Um, do your chest overlapping your belt, and then also you can't get all of your ribcage expanded and create internal pressure to get a better squat, better deadlift, that kind of stuff. Um, so basically the difference is, is if, if you can tell, it's full four inches all the way around. So the width doesn't change. Um, and it's a little bit thicker too, if you look at the difference. Uh, you know, biggest thing with them is I don't use it all the time. I use it for my max sets on squat, deadlift. Um, you can use them on bench, just not as occasionally, it just depends. Um, but like I said, the biggest reason for it is you're gonna get maximal spine support out of it. You're not gonna be able to move in it. <laughs> uh, right now, I've got bruised ribs from this one, trying to break it in. So uh, basically, it's just, you know, find what works for you. And it depends on what kind of style training you're doing. If you're doing powerlifting, I would say, you know, you got your power belts the way you go. And this is the prong style, and you also got a lever belt, which none of us have with us right now. But uh, basically, the same concept, it's just it locks into place. Um, but then for your standard everyday use, I think a squat belt is the way to go also. Though. So it's a bunch of different tools, tips, tricks to have in your arsenal, um, all to make gains. That's what really matters. Lots and of gains. Lots of gains. <laughs> yeah. Hashtag Instagram. Uh, but, you know, we're all here. We're all learning. Um, this is all different stuff that we use and stuff that we've been asked over the last yeah. three or five years. Yeah, a lot of this is uh, a lot of this is things that you can use to increase the longevity of your lifting too. Um, you know, use those slingshots to save your shoulders. Uh, using a belt to save your back. Um, you know, knee wraps, knee sleeves to save your knees. I mean, when you are working out, think longevity. It's very important that you're going to be in this for a long time. So stick with it and uh, and find things that's going to help you. Uh, a lot of people are against equipment altogether, yeah. which I think. I think so. it's immature. It's it's not focus focusing on what you need to focus on. That's that's making progress over time, and this is something that's going to help you do it. You don't want to hurt yourself and have to you know sit out sit out for a few months because you slipped a disc in your back because you weren't wearing a belt during a heavy squat. Uh, I mean, it's just some things. That it's important to focus on is is your health, and that's the most important thing about this. Is that's why we got into it is for health and definitely health reasons so it's it's just people almost are ignorant to the fact that they think that you know using training gear and using implements cheating. is uh yeah they yeah. think it's cheating yeah, they think sure. it's cheating and that's fine let them think that but when we're over here pressing double triple our body weight on squat deadlift bench i mean results speak for themselves you know let them worry about why they have back issues they can't work out every single day versus we're still doing it seven days a week, training all year, 365. And, you know? That sounds good. It's good. It's good. Well, happy holidays, everyone. It's legitimate muscle. Garrison. Trent. Mason. And we'll catch y'all later this week. Sounds good.